Hello, and welcome to Mental Health Matters. I'm Ada Kahn, a member of the Evanston Mental Health Board. And tonight, we have Larry Cohn, who's president of the Naomi Ruth Cohn Foundation, and Mark Williams, who is um, vice president of the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Welcome, both of you. Thank you for having us, Ada. Thank you, Ada. Larry, will you tell us a little about the foundation? Yes, certainly. The foundation was created in 2002 in memory of our daughter, Naomi, who had had a particularly virulent form of bipolar disorder and as a result took her life in the year 2000. What we wanted to do in her memory was to try to alleviate the type of suffering that she had gone through and others go through with mental illness. Not the suffering from the disease itself, but the suffering from the stigma of mental illness. The stigma is internal, is the doubts that people have. Many, many people, over 50% of the people who have bipolar never get treatment, frequently because they don't want to be labeled as somebody with mental illness. Uh, There's also the stigma of a society, that not everybody in society understands what mental illness is. They don't know how to uh, uh, deal with uh, their friends, their members of their family who have mental illness and how to provide the support and understanding and empathy that's needed. Uh, the way we felt to deal with that problem, which is a very, very serious problem in our society, is to educate people about what mental illness is, how they can cope with it, how families can deal with it, what resources are available. And we started in the year, uh, eight years ago to have a series of conferences. And among other activities, we also participate in the Teenage Essay Contest with, and we, with the uh, Mental Health Association of the North Shore. We have a fellowship at the Chicago School. We provided, produced a movie with uh, uh, Evanston um, Hospital, Fred Miller, who was, and uh, to direct the teens that called no, There's No Such Thing as Crazy. But our main activity is, and is, the, is the conference that we hold every, uh, this year, going to be on May 31st. I should add one other thing. We also have a conference that we're going to have in October that's in Spanish for mental health problems in the Latino community that we have last, at St. Nicholas Roman Catholic Church in Evanston. Uh, last year there were about 300 people who attended that and that's directed at the particular mental health problems of, of um, the Latino community. But our main conference, which we've had for eight years, is going to be on May 31st. Mm-hmm. And this year the subject is going to be the mental health problem of men and boys. Last year we dealt with the mental health problem of women and girls. Uh, the mental health problems of men and boys is a, is a it, it, men have different types of problems than women do in the mental health area, as you probably know. Uh, there's much, many more suicides among men than there are among boys. There are certain illnesses that affect men more than, they, uh, than women. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to direct a conference at that, and we've planned a very exciting and we believe will be stimulating afternoon. Um, to address that problem. Certainly sounds like it. Well, tell me about the tie-in with the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Well, I'd be glad to, Ada. Um, About 10 years ago, when uh, the foundation was established, the Chicago School started working with the foundation to help them with their programming, provide some expertise in the field of psychology, and in, in general to work collaboratively. Um, At that time, Larry and Marilyn established a scholarship at the Chicago School to provide an annual award for a student who was studying for a PsyD, Doctor of Psychology, in our clinical psychology program. The Chicago School of Professional Psychology was established in 1979 uh, to prepare practitioners in the field of professional psychology. We're, we're, we don't offer the PhD, which is an academic degree, we offer the PsyD, which is an equivalent for clinicians who wish to practice psychology. Uh, today, uh, the school has expanded. We offer doctorate, master's level programs in clinical psychology, but also in school psychology, forensic psychology, applied behavior analysis, and business and industrial organization psychology. It's also important to know that since its inception, the school has been dedicated to community service, which is one reason why our work and the work of the Cone Foundation are so compatible. Um, Every year, our students donate 600,000 hours of community service, in part to gain their licenses 
courses, but also in service learning and community service projects, valued at about $24 million. So the dedication that the school is known for having in the community is very compatible with the work of the Cohn Foundation, which is to help relieve the stigma of mental illness through public education and awareness. Well, the wonderful thing about the conference is that it's for both consumers, the average person in the community, and professionals. Yes. There's something for everyone. That's right. Our, our conference, we, we believe, is unique because, first of all, it is, a, it is for professionals, in this, and we give continuing, legal, uh, continuing education credits to them. But at the same time, we invite the public, and the speakers address the public and provide information to the public. Uh, we have over 120 different community organizations that are helping us sponsor the event this year from throughout the North Shore area. So we have uh, a spiritual component. We'll have an opening address uh, by a rabbi and at the concluding remarks by uh, Rabbi Capers Funyi, who is a, um, the rabbi of the Ethiopian Beth Shalom Ethiopian Congregation in Chicago and was recently featured in the New York Times as Obama's rabbi. So we're, we have a spiritual component to it. Um, and then what we have, we think that also makes us unique, we have major speakers on the subject that we're going to, to deal with. Um, this year we're going to have uh, Dr. Uh, Melvin McGinnis, who is a, a uh, pro chair professor at the University of Michigan, associate director of the Depression Clinic, and an expert on depression in men. We're going to have uh, from the University of Akron, this is uh, Dr. Ronald Levant, whose specialty is the um, uh, uh, men, psychology of men, fathering, masculinity issues, and finally we'll have Joseph Rogers who is a consumer. We always try to have both a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a social worker, and a consumer. Uh, Joseph Rogers is one of the major consumer advocates in the country. He's won the Heinz Award, which is a major award, uh, $250,000 award for ment his mental health advocacy, and also the Beers Award from the Mental Health Association. So we have three experts. And then we'll have, uh, after a break for um, refreshments and to see the exhibitors, we'll have many exhi exhi ex exhibits from, uh, from the different sponsors. We'll also then take a break and have a series of discussion groups that the participants can sign up for dealing with specific issues, and I understand you'll be covering those later today. Yes, later tonight we're going to have some of the discussion leaders speaking about their topics. Did we mention the date of the conference? It, it's going well, to be uh, May 31st uh, at um, Beth Emmett, the Free Synagogue in Evanston, uh, starting at 1245. And uh, the Evanston Mental Health Board will have a, a booth and an exhibit there, so I'll be there. Oh, good. And uh, the Evanston Community Media Center, this channel, is also a sponsor, so we'll be there. Good. We're going to have, we, we try to have information available to anybody who attends so they'll know, have more about the different organizations that are helping us sponsor it and more about where to go and what to do if they do have mental health problems either themselves or some people within their family or their friends. Mm -hmm. Does the, um, what will the school be doing at the conference? Will you have an exhibit or a table? Well the school will have an exhibit at the conference as well but uh, students of the school including past scholarship recipients of the foundation's um, scholarship program will also help to staff the conference so they'll be in attendance too. Mm -hmm. Well thank you both very much for being here and we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Thank you Ada. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you very much.